I still think this can be settled. Uh, the parties are just going to have to decide whether they want to have a baseball season and what the long-term damage to baseball will be and therefore the economics of both sides if it doesn't happen. Hey, what's up, everybody? There are a lot of big issues being deliberated now over the CBA, but I want to talk about the one that my channel is kind of famous for, and that's foreign substance. Now, the reason I bring it up is because a new punishment needs to be instituted for foreign substance. Right now, it's a 10-game suspension with pay. Now, this is eerily similar to 2004 and steroids when they instituted a 10-game suspension, which evolved to a 50-game, 100-game, and a lifetime ban uh, under a three-strike policy. Now, it's 80 games, 162 games in a lifetime ban. I think that that's what foreign substance deserves for a similar type of suspension. When you look at a baseball player who's a hitter using um, steroids back in the steroid era, you know, the pitchers were using it just as much as the hitters were. So it was a level playing field with steroids. When pitchers use foreign substance, it only helps the pitcher. When a hitter is using steroids, that's just one hitter in nine who's cheating. Where if a pitcher uses it for eight innings, they could get 25 outs using foreign substance. So I feel like it's worse than steroids. It, the pitcher has a monopoly on the ball, and they're pretty much using steroids on every single pitch. So I feel like the suspension and the punishment for it should be equal to that of steroids, if not worse. So what do you guys think? Is 10 games going to last, or are we going to move to something like 80 games, 162 games, and then a lifetime ban if you're caught?